Hey Sherry, there's post here and it seems as if the letter was delivered recently. After reading that, I am even less eager to return home than before. Let's investigate our manor. That's the Mycroft I know. Predictable. There she is. Our old manor. It's smaller than I remember. You were a couple of feet shorter back then, Sherry. Or maybe it's bigger on the inside. I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. Hey, that's Wooden Joe. He was always the best at playing criminals. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass, oh, very precious. Why does this barn give me such an unpleasant feeling? Oh, I know. It's because Mycroft used an axe to shoo you out of here. It scarred you for life, but I enjoyed it. Look at the ash all over the door. I don't recall hearing of a fire. We don't have to stay here. You can afford another night or two at the hotel. Stuck. Oh well, let's just head back. They probably haven't even stripped our room yet. Come on. <clears throat> Must be locked. Move aside. Let me have a go. Seems fine to me, Sherry. This barrier. Perhaps it's mental, not physical. Or perhaps the rest of us are simply constrained by reality, John. I wonder if there's a key secreted somewhere in the garden. Try to recall that memory about the policeman, Sherry. Concentrate. The policeman brought us both home, John. That's why he was here. I'm pretty sure he brought something else with him, too. Do you remember what it was? I bet it was our reward. No, we were not so lucky. It was a set of lockpicks that we had used to sneak into someone's house. That's why we were arrested. Did someone come out to investigate all the commotion? It was Mycroft. He smoothed things over and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. Mycroft wasn't happy about the fact that we were arrested. It felt like he lectured us for hours. 
Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Ugh, oh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world. This deserves further investigation. Perhaps there's more to discover inside. As long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up, I'll be happy. Maybe a chaise longue. Aha! In we go. Home sweet home, Sherry. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Something did happen that day, but no one can tell us the details. How can that be? Agreed. It's rather suspicious. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. And I was wondering why it's so empty in here. There may be a small chance that some of our property could be found among local traders' wares. It is worth a look, wouldn't I remember how angry Mycroft was about these marks. He called it a frivolous, childish endeavour. Our family portrait used to hang here. One of the first things I saw when entering this house as a child. It's like deja vu. Mycroft's umbrella, the only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. Another memory incoming, Sherry. Strange, I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. The only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. There was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering, or is it my imagination? Your neighbors will be told that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. Upstairs, go to your room. Lean on me, mother. Take your time. 
Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you all right? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? Let's do it, Sherlock. Another one. They must be. something important behind it. Look at this. It's like traveling ten years into the past with a single step. Oddly satisfying. Sharp and well balanced. It would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. Need to repeat this one day, but with bullets. Sharp and well balanced. It would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Coal dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. Interesting. What's that over there? This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we the can find The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. A magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose, staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You mean, for spying on people? This time I was first to pick beds. This one's mine now. Look at this, John. Remember how desperately I wanted to learn the violin? I never had a proper opportunity. Such a shame. I always hated the rule about being silent in this... Oh, oh it reminds me of our neighbour. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. <laughs> Cannot believe all my toys are still here. Hey, they were not just yours. They were half mine too. <laughs> An artifact from Palau carved out of bone and claimed to be 300 years old. My mother proved it was a fake. My very favorite plaything. It was the perfect pirate treasure. Sharp and well balanced.
would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. Perfect match. My small archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. Still has a faint odor of tobacco, one of the few things on this island that smelt like home. Made of cherry wood, father's favorite. I knew you'd find it in no time. Wasn't that neighbor missing a finger? That does sound vaguely familiar. Wasn't his name, uh, Theodore? Theodore Gilden, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. <laughs> 